Buy spice for your guzzle strong. For your guzzle. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Tina K. Gilling, and I know nothing about makeup. Just putting that out there. Now, have I got a story time for you? Yes, this has been three months in the making, believe it or not. So this week, I got two deliveries of makeup. One was anticipated, tracked every step of the way, like whoo, today, tomorrow, next day, all the way. The other one, which I'm going to be doing today, came as a major shock because... I had given up hope. So, I don't know if they saw my most recent video where I spoke on a lot of things, but I did mention that I love this brand Ambassador so much. I guess that's why. Three months ago, when they did the Love and Hip Hop episode, or when they aired it, um, they featured Faces and Laces on it. And then Spice released a promo code, Will LHH, Love and Hip Hop, something. So I decided, Spice on the gal. Time to buy the makeup. I mean, I am no makeup guru. I don't ever wear makeup for various reasons. Hyperpigmentation. No, minute don't dirty. Like, it's going to take a lot more time that I'm willing to give and there are... Many other reasons we will address at a later date. But anyways, I'm like, Spice, I'm a girl. We in a lockdown, Spice, now don't know, sure. Let me show my support I'm going to purchase. I went on there and the price kind of slapped me. Big, big slap, $39.99 per but what slapped me the biggest was i'm like all right i'm just gonna get the palette and international shipping a 45 dollar like so 45 dollar like yeah go charge me more for scenic right come on canada yeah so than the product actually worth like that don't make no sense right right but no me did full full and frightened for spice i'm gonna say so to make the international shipping not look so heavy i added the microphone set to it you cute though <laughs> so i added the microphone set to it and said okay it's the same price for shipping let's just get both of them boom applied my discount Boom, 112 US dollars converting to $164 and some cents. I'm going to link the receipts. All right. All right. Spice on Miguel. It's just money. Like, it's not like we're in a pandemic and people are starving. It's, it's, it's just money for makeup that I may never use, by the way. But Spice on Miguel. I'm going to buy it. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy it. About a week or two weeks later, I got my notification, your order is shipped. So if you're like me, you know you're clicking that tracking information, same time. And I'm like, all right, yeah, boom. You see that $45? I think I paid for the world tour because I got notifications on this package, by the way. I'm paranoid about ordering online. So this was... This was a big thing for me. And I decided, okay, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Boom, I'm tracking. It's jumping from state to state to state to state. I'm like, why is it going everywhere in America? Like, Canada is like just right here, but you know, that's fine. Then, boom, notification. It's at Toronto Pearson's. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Toronto Pearson's. I drive past that like every single day. It, it's close, right? Wrong. Detour. Next notification I get about a week or so later. My package there. 
Russian Federation. I'm like, Russian Federation is Russia, right? Let me just Google it to be sure. Like, oh, oh you reach a Toronto and Ghana, Russia. Like, that no make no sense. So I Google it and yeah, the Russian Federation is the proper name for Russia. So I reach out to Faces and Laces. I think I checked my order history via email and then I used the contact form. I also tried Instagram. They don't answer DMs. And I'm trying I'm trying everything at this point because on a need fit like it doesn't have to be your fault because we're in a pandemic. Everything no makes sense. So it could be the tracking company problem and whatever. And you already shipped me order, so it's no longer in your care, I guess. So I was very understanding of that. However, when my little paranoid self filled out that contact form and didn't get a response, I'm like, all right, people talk to me now because can me just spent hundred and sixty four dollar me never have to begin with, and me no no me, me, me things gone to Russia. Me need enough to talk to me, so I'm bawling out my eyes to these people. The contact form, which is email, I did the DMs. I DM Spice official on Instagram. I DM Faces and Laces on Instagram. Nothing. So I screenshotted those and I tried for the number on the website. Now it's a Jamaica number, not on the website. The number on the page is a Jamaica number. I added it to my phone, saved it, it opens on WhatsApp. I'm like, all right, maybe, just maybe they not get all of the other things them and WhatsApp go work. Silly me. I screenshotted all the information, all the tracking information, everything. And I sent it to them. Nothing. Weeks go by. One month. Nothing. So I'm like, people, like, you need to be, you need to get back to me. Like, 160, you know how much food that can buy? For somebody in a pandemic where all them do are eat. Me not spend 164 dollars on my gas supermarket. One time. That are like two weeks worth of money, right? And fear foodie made it really concerned. So I'm like, guys, get back to me. You know, like spice, take your time. You know, see so you're busy. You know, oh, just, just get back to me when you feel like, right? Cause yeah, I'm a girl. I'm gonna say you're not gonna scam me. So like, just just get back to me when you feel like. But if you take up my good, good Roger's bill that was heavy at the time already and actually called the number in Jamaica, left a bunch of voicemail because they're not answer for a neither. And I'm like, what kind of pitney party you know I keep? I don't understand. You're playing with my money. Like $164 on some cents. So at this time, I'm sending the, the contact information. I'm like, I don't even care anymore. Just send me back my money. Screenshotted everything. Like every step of the way, I'm screenshotting the, the message of me sending the screenshots to these people and sending it to WhatsApp. Lo and behold, they finally decide to answer. Boom. I will check on it. They checked the email or the contact support form or whatever. And my re the response, the email that I got sent from iPhone, by the way, said, did you get your package? Yeah, you know, like, you know, understand what me I try to say from morning. What you, what you mean if me get my package? You know, hear me say me not get it like, you know, you, you not have the information, can track it from here and if it's system, me not get it for true. Me not, uh, the, me not, me not get you. So I'm I'm going all out. I'm sending emails. I'm calling. I'm doing everything. And that was the only response I got from them. That was the end of correspondence. And I was talking to a friend of mine. And she's like, girl, stop running on them people there for your money. Talk to your bank. You use your card pay for it, right? Talk to your bank. 
Now, I was very skeptic because I don't know, I'm afraid of people, I'm a coward like that. I'm like, what a spice. What a spice like. <laughs> what a spice. Spice wouldn't do that, you know? Spice not gonna do me that. But me say my hundred and sixty four dollar kinda steep fee 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 no response, you know. And at this time I'm checking the tracking information and it's still in Russia, like Russia not have nothing to give me, so why would Russia be prioritizing me, you know? So my file a claim with my bank. I say your bank I think go down and this is the information you need. Make them tell them for run me my things. And I gave my bank all the tracking information and everything so they could sort it out. And then they told me it would take like 50 days or something like that. And me reach out to no, they reached out to me. So they called moi and left me a message telling me to give them a call back and they finally got my queries and all of that and i'm like me I already filed my claims already you know so just i understand that but it's above me let me please let me right? it's above me right anyways i called them back I said, all I'm trying to do is get my money back. Like, and they said that they would send me Biggest another. Biggest peeves, spell my name. And man. my response was, if you end up in Russia again, I'm going to get no response from her. No, thank you. I will have my money at this time. And then it looked like my bank come true for me because I, when I called them, I didn't get anybody. I got a machine machine again so at this time i was tired of jumping through hoops i'm like whatever f them i filed my claims i have a good strong case may i go get back my money and sure thing my bank came through they came through and i got my refund of 112 us dollars which by that time the dollar had dropped significantly and i got back 140 something or 130 something dollar so me lose me lose 30 something dollar yeah me lose 20 something dollar but i think in prior video i mentioned my upstairs neighbor that fell and bust her head and i helped her her so my apartment number has two, double digits and hers has three of the same digits and somehow still the delivery people mess up and stuff my package into her box and you know when they do good and good follows you through she came down here and she brought me these yeah so this is laces if you don't want no money no you no can't get it which we're not gonna pay for shipping because but if you don't want no money contact me i'm willing to pay for them and i love this but since they're here might as well just review them i'm not gonna be doing a look tonight because baby girl skin is glowing i slept today i skull work tonight so i'm rested so i'm not gonna do a look tonight because i feel so great in my own skin already right So right off the bat, the Good Ebbles Spice. So look at the colors. I'm donning blue here, by the way. Not out of my spicy behavior, but people have asked me, and I'm like, I'm currently on a hiatus from spice because of the the incidents. Yeah, McKenna, McKenna, me did back with spice because she never answer me. I comment under every Cardi B post. Messio, Messio, but it's fine. This is not about that. Now these are 10. I think it's supposed to be 10 coming there. If not, on me. 
I'm gonna call them number one and number two and number three and number four, number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then on the down in the comment section, go tell me what them fuck, cause I know Jack. So number one, I think it's for foundation. I like it. I have one little tiny thing there kick off. But it is super soft super soft and thick and i love it i love it feel this Woo! you like it and then number two is shorter stiffer but them nice bad um when i was showing my mom she's like you know much record on my bio uh, in the adult age you feel like you want by 10 so yeah, branded on this side and recorded on this side. So this is one, two. Remember, tell me in the comment section what they're for. All right, number three. You have a little dome shape like the Pope hat. And it nice. All of them feel nice. My hands still not like them. Bro, feel it. yep go ahead tell me what number three is for number four i think is for highlighter um it come in this packaging and it's kind of stiffer so it mess up how the fan did stay but it's an easy fix ah! <laughs> bronzer that's number four Number five and number six. Number five is shorter. I think I'm going to use this for up here some. And number six is, again, the Pope Hat business. Um, tell me why you use them for. Which one for this seven? All right, I'm going to put seven. This one is nice. See my backside wall on him. That's true. And then eight has eight is flat with a little dome business. So um I can use it to yeah you know, seven, eight, and then my little angled fellow here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Nine. I'm going to use this one for outlining my eyebrows and my concealer. And then number 10 is up spoolie. Right? Ooh. I have dandruff in my eyebrow. Yeah, I've dry scab in your eyebrow too, so don't talk to me. Number 10 is the spoolie. Mm-hmm. Number 10 is a spoolie. And there you have it, folks. Yep. Good abusance. So I love, love, love the color, baby girl. Spice. Spice. Love. Okay. Love. And then this sort of extra we didn't pay for. But we got it anyways. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Talk to me nice. This color complements the base of this. Actually, no. You're lucky. Them nice. And they remind me of spice. Now, I saved this. I myself haven't even tried this. We're going to do some swatches on the fairer part of my hand.
So this is the Piano Palette by Faces and Laces, ladies and gentlemen. Rush out and get your own. Only $39.99. And a lot of hoops. No. We all know that Spice did not win that sheet challenge. I am sorry, Spice. You didn't win the sheet challenge. But we're here for it. Sheet. Nigelai. Needle Eye, Hip Hop, Romantic Mood, Spice, Jamaica, Genie, Cool It, Soka, <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, Soka, R&B, Reggae, Dancehall. I'm going to be swatching them on my hand. Sheet. Stab out my meat and not the sheets. Okay. That is sheets. I have a big to shimmer, glimmer, shine. Nigga eye. Shimmer, glimmer, shine. Again, I told you in the beginning, I am no makeup guru, so... That's as far as I can go right now. Um, hip hop. I like hip hop. Shimmer, glimmer, shine. Ooh, romantic mood. Um, I think I... All right, so all these are single swatches, by the way. I think I didn't do romantic mood properly because I tried to switch up fingers. So I gotta do that again. Oh. It has a matte finish to it and it's not as bright as the other colors, I guess. All right. Well, it's staying. It stains. Romantic mood. Actually. It doesn't stain. I was just trying to be too careful against sheets. You know, spice, spice, white sheet. Like, you can't just have... Bad pan sheet, you can clean your sheet too. So it go hand in hand. You saw this white? I'm gonna even do this yet. What do you want to have come to have a clean sheet? Get a clean sheet alone and have a bad pan sheet, my girl. You can't worry. I want to know. Where the bad stick on my sheet? I want you, my girl. You're not bad, daddy. The blue. Beautiful, by the way. Okay. Okay, I will be using that blue. I don't know what look I'm gonna use it in, but. Baby girl, the blue. And then the green from Jamaica. Okay. Currently not disappointed. These are single swatches. Um... Genie is very similar to hip hop, but obviously not the same, but similar, really similar. Cool it! <laughs> All right, cool it. I like. I like cool it. I will be cooling it. Soka. My arm hurts. <laughs> My arm hurts. 
Soka. Soka is Soka is beautiful. It has an orange finish. R&B. After one swatch. R&B after two swatch. The matte colors don't hold up that much, that well. But R&B is stronger than romantic. R romantic mood is stronger than R&B. This is like a soft, hot pink finish. And then... Reggae. Reggae gold. Reggae gold. I love reggae. Reggae nice. Reggae occur. Reggae happen. Why? So, whoo. Yep. That I just switch dance and I'm gonna be there. Let's go to dance. I'm gonna be. Thank you guys for. <laughs> no, this. I don't know what if a karmic energy because me drag the people them and then me I big up the products them like this, but. Buy spice for your guzzle strong. For your guzzle. So them the people. <laughs> These are the colors of the piano palette. Yeah. I like them. Look out for some amateur looks. Um yeah. I eat. <laughs> I eat. Bye. Bro, Avery sahat me. I eat my life. <laughs>